Hello everyone. In this lecture, we'll see a conformal transformation and complex integration. So this module contains two part: conformal transformation and complex integration. So first, see what is conformal transformation. So as we know in the previous lectures we will see the complex functions and how to find analytic functions and construction of analytic function harmonic kind of functions and uh, many more kind of examples based on that complex function in this conformal transformation we will take the help of again complex function and uh, we'll see how the transformation take place here consider a complex value that is w is equal to f of z or else you can call as omega also putting z is equal to x plus i y and w may be is also called as f of z which is nothing but u plus i v but see that this u is a function of x and y and v is also function of what here x and y. The complex quantities that is z is equal to z of x y which is a function of x y as well as w which is nothing but function of u v. So remember z is a function of x y but uh, w is a function of u v but you know that u v is also a function of what here x and y only. Okay, the complex quantities z is equal to z of x y and w is nothing but what a w of function of what here u v are represented in two separate planes namely the z plane and w plane because z plane belongs to what here x y we are taking and w plane is nothing but what here I can say that it is u v plane but also remember u v plane is also a function of what here x y. If set of point x y traces a curve C, okay, this point is very important. If set of point x y, that is nothing but z plane, traces a curve C in the z plane, and the corresponding points u v traces a curve C dash in the w plane, we say that the curve C transferred or mapped onto the curve c dash under the transformation w is equal to f of z this is a very important point if set of point x y traces a curve c in the z plane some point curve for example a curve may be a straight line or a circle or any parabola hyperbola any curves okay so and the corresponding points of uv traces a curve c dash in w plane we say that the curve c is transferred or mapped onto curve c dash under the transformation w is equal to f of z the corresponding set of points in two planes are called image or image of each other so this is very important so transformation is nothing but here what are taking place so the what curve c we have so it is converted to c dash in w plane so that transformation or mapped onto what here in which transformation here w is equal to f of z now now if a transformation preserves the angle between any two curves both in the magnitude and sense then it is called a conformal transformation okay if a transformation preserves means already we got a transformation from c to c dash if the same transformation preserves angle between any two curves both in the magnitude and sense then it is called a conformal transformation so that I told so if particularly any 
uh, state line or a circle if it is transforming to some other form for example i can say that if, if a state line transforming to what here a circle means that angle is changing to what here another angle so that sense is going to called as what here a conformal transformation so let's see one of the graph for this uh, means just a practice graph so that uh, you will understand what is conformal transformation Now you can observe here, so this is a plane, in this we have curve number 1 and curve number 2 and which makes an angle theta in xy plane. So which transforms to what here, which maps to what here, a curve c1 dash and c2 dash and it makes an angle theta in w plane. So this transforming but angle uh, here you can observe here, angle uh, will uh, having as well as magnitude having what here, uh, having in the same direction but here curve c1 dash c1 will become c1 dash and c2 will become c2 dash means just i had taken a general example but i told here so this curve may be converted to transform to what here so state line may be converted to what here a uh, circle or parabola will convert it to state line or para uh, state line when converted to a uh, parabola so that transformation is going to come under what here a conformal transformer so in this we have uh, different kinds of uh, transformations so firstly we will see uh, one of the transformation that is bilinear transformation now so bilinear transformation in short it is also called as blt also so let's see the transformation the transformation is of the form so w or omega is equal to az plus b divided by cz plus b so this is an bilinear transformation this is an bilinear transformation where where a b c and d are complex are complex constants complex constants and very important thing is that AD minus BC should not equal to 0 this condition is very important is known as is known as the bilinear transformation is known as the bilinear transformation so this is very important transformation so based on this uh, bilinear transformation we have very important examples uh, that is problems uh, which is very important for uh, examination point of view let's see that one in our coming lectures so these are the things the conformal transform and bilinear transform so based on this we'll see how the transformation takes place